morning. So I wanted to take you guys on a little trip that I'm currently on for the first time in a while. I'm going through the southwest of the United States in Utah and Arizona with my good friend Kelsey and we are in Canyonlands National Park right now. I'm actually waiting for her to drive down a road. We're trying to set up for the shot right now. She's gonna drive down here go down and then I'm gonna snap a photo. I know you can't tell from uh, the video, but it is fucking freezing. <laughs> it's so cold. We slept in the car in some BLM land just outside the park last night. And when we woke up this morning, there's literal frost on the windows. So uh, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited to be on this trip because really it's my first time traveling in months since everything with COVID happened and I'm just so excited and I'm so grateful to be here and be on this trip just because I know it'll be just so good for my mental health and whatnot and I especially know that I'm not the only one who's been feeling down or depressed with all the craziness going on in the world and a big reason I want to share this is while I know it's going to make me feel a lot better as a human I hope it makes you guys feel better too because we all need it um, we're all in this together and we're all going through a tough time so I think now more than ever we all need something like this um, so yeah this one's for you guys um, he's coming down now so I'm gonna have to set up for the shot so uh, see you guys is starting to hit like crazy over there. The sun is almost up. One of my favorite parts about coming here is how the light hits the strata. Look at that. You can see every detail in every crevice, it's amazing. Okay, so we just wrapped that up. My hands are numb <laughs> from like holding a metal camera, it's awful. So yeah, now we're gonna head to Mesa Arch here, which is like an iconic sunrise spot. There might be a lot of uh, dads with tripods, AKA dad pods there, but we'll just try to go and you know, just try to be as respectful as possible. As possible. Everybody's there to get the shot, so yeah, we'll just try to be nice and um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we are now at Mesa Arch meeting up with some lovely lovely friends it's always good to see people so if you don't know Mesa Arch it's a really cool location it's an arch no duh <laughs> but at sunrise the Sun comes through the bottom and lights up the bottom of the arch with like a nice orange glow if you're ever on Instagram at all you've probably seen some sort of photos of this place before but if not here you go yeah, and one really cool thing about this spot is the light sticks around for a while. So even though we did sunrise at a different spot, we can still come here and enjoy the light. So that's really nice. Can I get a peppermint mocha? Yeah. I think I should get a grande, non-fat, skinny peppermint mocha. It's a bad season, bitches. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just grabbing some fuel for the drive today because we have like a two hour off-road. <laughs> like a two hour trip off-road. And you know, what if we get stranded? We might need food. So Kelsey recently got a new car and it's designed for off-roading but my brain is kind of fried from concentrating so hard. Just straight off-roading for about two hours and we're probably going to miss sunset at this time because it's just taking us way longer than we thought it would and unfortunately it's just been getting more intense as it goes on. We're kind of to a point where I don't think we can go. So it's kind of a bummer obviously and it's, it's so frustrating because we're so close to the end but um... 
that's how it goes sometimes, you know? It's not really worth like damaging the car and it's been like an adventure and a half already. It's been kind of a crazy day from sunrise at, in Canyonlands to this, like it's been such a full day. So yeah, we're just gonna head back, probably uh, eat some dinner, find a place to sleep for the night and uh, see you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> but let me show you what we're dealing with right now. So right now, the dilemma is going up this rock right here, which is quite steep. And then we have to get through this. And then further up there. We don't even know what's up there. All right, just gonna have some dinner and then head back down. <laughs> All right, so change of plans. We're, <laughs> so many plans. we're really curious about what's at the top there. So we're just gonna hike the last like 0.6 miles or whatever it is, see if it looks cool. Who knows, if it turns out to be super doable for the rest of it, we might try to go up there, sleep, and then stay for sunrise, but I don't know, we'll see. We're kind of just sussing out the road right now, seeing if it would even be doable if we got past the obstacles currently in front of us. I think we might be about to the top, maybe. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Whoa. Holy shit. Wait, he actually really cool. Wow. Whoa. So close. <laughs> Damn, this is really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> Just some insane cliffs out here. Look at that. That's crazy. And you're supposed to be able to get a car out there? Car goes here. Nutty. I almost want to say that this is like one of the very few places that looks better in person than in photos. Sometimes it's the other way around, isn't it? I hope one day to get the best photos here and really, really show like how cool it is, you know? Do you guys hear that echo? <laughs> that echoes forever. Oh! So now we have a bit of a conundrum. Um, a <laughs> sorry, there's a bit of a kerfuffle. So now that we've seen the top and seen how cool it looks and especially its potential, we really, really, really want to make it up if it's possible. So, uh, yeah. There are only a few spots where it looks, you know, super, super sketchy. There's only like two to three that look like that. Yeah. Uh, that could go wrong. <laughs> this? this is fine, right? Yeah, this is fine, 100%. This looks doable. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, getting uh, getting trickier. Yeah, it's this part. Like, who even saw this and thought, oh, well, the car can go up there. It's this. So this is one of the places we'd have to get the car up. So we have to get down this drop. So we're thinking if we put rocks here, it'll be less bad. So maybe that's doable, <laughs> possibly. I don't know. So we decided, unfortunately, that it's not gonna be doable because of this part right here. Yeah, I know you can't see it, but this is this is our problem. So this is- Big problem. This is as good as it's gonna get. Unfortunately, it's just probably a little too steep for us to get up with the truck. And Kelsey just got the car. <laughs> we don't wanna fuck it up. We don't wanna ruin Buford. Buford tried to do other things with trip. Yeah, so unfortunately, we will be going home, but you know, that's just part of it sometimes, so whatever. And now I get to eat my sandwich, so. Sweet. Woo. All right, Kelsey. So, yeah. what's the promise? Okay. We're coming back. We're gonna come We're gonna back do, do this. It. Okay. So I'm fed now. I've had some dinner, but the adventure's not over. We gotta drive down in the dark now. So that'll be fun. <laughs> See you in like a few hours. <laughs> so yeah. we're about to go down. No. And this is what we see. This no. is the first thing we have to do. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> So we finally made it down after like two hours. Uh, it was pretty tough, but we made it. <laughs> what up, bitch? Let's go to bed. <laughs>